Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. Although there won't be one much of a party going on here at Coots tonight as we have a girl that uh, will be soon labouring uh, a litter of pups. So it's a quiet one for us, but it's pretty wet and miserable in the valley today. But just brought the boys out to uh, have a little run. The boys are doing really well. Georgie now, um, Georgie has the dark blue colour. He's now found his perfect little family and leaves us next week. And we're chatting to a number of other families for the boys. Um, it's really important to us that they are with the right families. And for us, um, we would prefer to take our time to ensure that they're perfectly matched. All the boys, I have to say, are very loving little chaps. They are very good boys. So um, I'd love them really to be with families, um, ideally families with other dogs. Um, sausages do like to be with other sausages. Uh, they do like company, not necessarily another sausage. That would be the ultimate, but they do very much like company. Anyway, I'll take a walk down here, I think. It's actually very mild. It's mi miserable and dull, but it's actually very mild. The boys have developed quite a lot of confidence over the Christmas break. Um, they would never have rushed off down there previously. There's three down there. I tend to find that Ringo tends to hold himself back a little bit. Um, Ringo, come! I don't know where he's potted off to. Um, he's certainly the most independent. George, definitely our quiet little boy. And Lenny and Paulie are the, definitely the most playful, the most fun loving. Lenny particularly loves um, my daughter, Bella. She's 11 and a little bit crazy and he loves her, so. Their favorite playmate is our enormous standard, Mr. Coot, and they do love following him around. This is little Lenny. Hey, Len. Hello, my darling. Lenny is a red dapple, but he's only got very slight dappling on the back, you can see. Quite unusual to see red dapples now. Not many of them around. They're all the perfect, either just under or five kilos, absolutely spot on. His little poorly. He's more dappled and he's got an adorable little white fleck on his chest. Hey Polly, hey darling. Oh, Lenny. Here's little George. Oh. They definitely know their names now. They've learnt those super quickly. It always, it always amazes me how they do that because obviously they're all together in a little group and we're calling names at them, yet they seem very quickly to understand uh, who is which one relates to them, which I just think is amazing. Oh, there's something smelly down there. I don't think we want to roll in it, thank you. Oh, you got to love that. Someone asked the other day, well, you know, why do they do that? Why do they roll in disgusting substances? And when I did um, a canine behaviour uh, diploma, it was one of the modules. It came up as to why dogs do that. Um, and it's a really bizarre thing because it date, apparently it dates back to when they were uh well when they're in the wild and they roll in it and cover themselves in it to protect themselves from uh predators and it's something that's just um there and all dogs display this behavior even now even now they don't have to and it's disgusting you're disgusting aren't you hey Stinky boys, stinky boys. Don't mind my Georgie. I have to say, I do love having the boys here. We have a rule that all our stud boys actually live with guardians. 
um, so they're not here with the girls as it's very disruptive. So having these little lads with us for the last month I've so enjoyed because I do very much miss having the little lads around. It's not easy when you have a number of females with seasons and hormones. We're just a huge bucket of hormones at the moment. We've got three girls in season, three girls pregnant. So you can imagine the boys have been a bit of a nuisance to them, but I've thoroughly enjoyed having them. Hi, Polly. Hey. They will spend hours doing this, sniffing about. And this sort of enrichment is brilliant. And I mean, to be honest, it's better than even walking and exercising because it's far more mentally stimulating for them when they can have a really good sniff and a rummage about in the valley. These lads will whiz up and down here and then we take them up on the path up there and we're surrounded by, well, as you can see, incredible walks and countryside. So they really do have the best of it here. They're very lucky little sausages, that's for sure. One of the girls goes up there, up that way in the valley. She spends hours up there. Anyway, wishing you all a very happy new year. And I'll be back on in 2023.